So we're here at um, UDSQ in Oakland, California. It's beautiful here. And I'm here with Mark Shuttleworth, the um, founder of Ubuntu. And um, so I know this week there's been a lot of talk about cloud. Um, we have this new thing called Maz and um, Juju, and um, Ubuntu seems to be a, a real mover and shaker in this, this hyperscale computing, low power ARM computing. Um, well, what are some of the things that have been exciting for you this week? So I, all of the things that you described there are, are sort of different facets of the same idea, which is if you take, if you take a kind of core platform, um, which includes all of the goodness of the open source world, and, and you put a lot of effort into making that core really high quality, then people will find incredible things to do with it. So the desktop team are taking that quality core and, and building a beautiful desktop. The cloud guys are taking that core, making it really easy to deploy on all the different kinds of clouds. And the Maz guys are saying, well, that core should be able to get onto any kind of metal, whether it's ARM, whether it's x86, whether it's 10,000 servers, whether it's 10 servers. Um, and, and I think so, keeping our focus on the, the quality of that core and unleashes all of the creativity in all of those different teams. Yes. And then there was some exciting news from uh, Calzada. They showed uh, OpenStack yeah. running on their uh, uh, energy core server, which I think that was the first time in public it's been demonstrated, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so, uh, so none of us had ever seen that before, right? We've, we've seen simulations of the silicon, and uh, they showed up here with uh, their first tape out. Uh, what was it, 48, 48 nodes? 48 quad-core nodes, yeah. 48 quad-core nodes. And uh, by the end of the week, they had OpenStack and Maz um, working with them, which is fantastic. Nice, nice. Um, and I also know a big discussion, I mentioned the quality, but um, we're talking to people that, uh, in terms of increased automated testing, test harnesses for, for physical hardware, where you can um, power it on and off, run tests, get results from a remote location. Um, yeah. So a lot, of the, a lot of the quality engineering that went into 1204 was aimed at building infrastructure systems and processes that just can keep running. And those are like a, like a, um, they're like a, a safety, uh, like, they're like airbags that let us run faster because we right. have the airbags, right? If we trip or stumble, then immediately there's a, we, we notice it immediately. Um, so I think what you'll see in 1210 is those systems expand. And a really interesting development is we're going to um, create more and more tools for upstreams um, to enable testing of hardware, to enable testing of applications in, in the plumbing layers, to enable testing of uh, you know, GUI applications, uh, Qt applications, GTK applications. Um, so being able to automate testing of the entire stack and, and, and getting upstreams excited about um, having access to places where they can run those tests themselves for upstream development, not specific to Ubuntu, just making upstream quality even better. Um, uh, you know, so that's enormously empowering. That's, um, that's, that's kind of uh, um, accelerating the whole ecosystem. Right. Well, and it's, uh, that's such, such an interesting prospect for developers, you know, in terms of like, where else can you go and have this kind of world-class um, you know, physical hardware harness that you can test things on. Um, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. Mm. Um, something I find really interesting about Ubuntu is that, you know, it stretches all the way from the cloud to the client, and it seems like that's such a rich opportunity because Ubuntu is pretty unique in, in that way in terms of, you know, I think you have a desktop that's just as beautiful as Mac OS X, and um, you have a, you know, very industrial grade um, a server environment also, cloud environment, yeah. and being able to have the same environment stretch from one end to the other is such a rich opportunity for, for um, developers and types of applications. And yeah, I mean, if you think of, if you think of uh, uh, web developers, professional developers, large numbers of them have moved to Mac OS X because it's, it's beautiful and usable, mm -hmm. um, but it's Unix. Um, and and, and with, uh, with, with all the work that's gone into 1204 and now into 1210 and so on, I think we can say the same about Ubuntu. Um, and, and what we also have though, we have this amazing um, uh, friction-free deployment story where the work that you do on your, on your desktop can deploy without any changes straight into the cloud because you've got the same core essentially for Ubuntu on the cloud as you do on the desktop. Um, and that's, that's really exciting, it's really unique. So I think for professional, um, uh, professional developers, or in your case, professional creators, professional artists and so on, is starting to be a really interesting story there. Um, the, 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 the more people we get together to celebrate that, the, the faster that'll go. Right. 
And then there was the very exciting announcement from Dell on the uh, Sputnik project mm -hmm. with their, their new high-end developer-focused hardware. Those are really beautiful, beautiful laptops. Um, in the high end, you're going to be able to run you know, hundreds of LXE containers, which means you can simulate on your laptop cloud configurations of hundreds of nodes, mm. which, is, uh, which is kind of unprecedented. Right? So for, for high end developers, especially people building multi tier applications in the cloud, um, it's going to be a, a very sweet experience. With the hardware being beautiful, the desktop being beautiful, the cloud experience being beautiful, it's, it's glorious. Right, right. So, uh, one last thing. What are you most excited about for the uh, 1210 cycle? Most excited about the 1210? Gosh. Um, uh, I think some of, the, some of the, f the work that we're doing now with instrumentation, for example, the crash database work, um, is going to enable us, is, 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 the, the, is the sort of foundational layer that puts us on a trajectory for the next LTS 1404 to be the best platform in the world. You know, if we can essentially give up streams um, the ability to know in real time where the changes that they're making are, are in, you know, increasing the quality of millions of users of desktop experience or cloud experience um, or, or, or making it worse, right. um, then I think we have a really tight feed, feedback loop. So I think, I think this, this new approach to quality, which is very automated, very machine learning driven, um, and, and extends from upstream all the way into the platform and then down to users as well. It's like one continuous extended like fabric. Um, I think that's completely foundational for, for, for creating the sort of platform that we've, the technology we've never seen. Hmm. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much and cheers.